All right, so this is called Wild Ones. And this story um, talks about some, this is from that Timeless Traditions article, group, group of articles. And this one's about Austria and a celebration that they have. Like, not Australia, Austria. So it says right here, in the Snowy Alp, Mount, sorry, it's called Wild Ones, which I actually, this caught my eye, my eye, because it reminded me of the the book Wild Ones that I read when I was a kid, um, you know, where the wild ones are, I think that's one, where the wild ones were, anyway, that story, um, the, it reminded me of that, and so I kind of, in my head, wondered if this was where that story came from, so I'll go ahead and read this. Here we go. In the snowy Alp mountains, the men rise in the pre-dawn blackness. Days earlier, they risked avalanches to gather lichen, a plant that grows on rocks. Now they pull on shaggy suits made of the lichen they collected. Next, they cover their faces with wicked-looking wooden masks. Each mask has a long hooked nose, warts, and often eyebrows as big and bristly as brushes. Finally, each man picks up a big gnarled stick. It's time for the wild ones to begin their march. The wild ones may look scary, but their presence is a good sign. Seeing them means it's carnival time. Time to chase away the winter and welcome spring. The tradition may be thousands of years old. It dates back to a time when human survival depended on the seasons changing. Back then, if spring didn't come to the Alps, the people were doomed. They would not be able to grow, their f uh, grow or find enough food to survive. So they created rituals they, believe they believed would chase away winter and make sure spring came on time. Often these rituals centered on a bear or someone dressed up as a bear. In spring, bears awake from the winter rest. So they became a powerful symbol of the changing seasons. According to the legend, the wild ones are part bear, part human. They are the sons of bears with human mothers. It's unclear what their role was in past carnivals, but today the wild ones march right into town. They patrol the streets and keep the peace. And from time to time, they even nibble lichen from their suits. No one knows why. It's just part of their tradition. Interesting. So anyway, I actually think that would be really cool. We maybe need to come up with a like a COVID ritual to get rid of like a celebration to say we're getting rid of the old and now we're in with the new. I think that would be a fun thing to do. So now that I have done my, completed my reading, I'm going to get my journals and work on my history writing. And I'm going to show you these masks in color. I really loved the way they looked in color. Um, these ones were probably one of my favorites and I thought that'd be a cool, actually I like the, the skeleton ones too, but I love the green. That's what they look like in color. And the mask. This one actually looks like they just cut somebody's hair off. Maybe they just got it off the internet. Who knows? But I liked the way they looked. All right. So now I'm going to get my history journal out. If you have your history journal, I would probably say go ahead and get that out. My history journal, sorry, my arm's in the way. My history journal is mixed um, with my reading journal, and my history journal is in the back part. So I just skip to the back. And I don't leave blank pages between because I don't like not knowing where my stuff is at. So today, we're going to do week three, day three. And this is Timeless Traditions. It's the title of the article. And we capitalize the article. We spell this correctly because it's in on the um, it's actually on the paper. Plus, I'm spelling it for you. And if you're like, well, I didn't have to watch the video. Guess what? You shouldn't have an excuse because guess where it's also at? 
It's right here on your worksheet that says what you're supposed to do for the week. So it says timeless traditions. I'm going to underline this and I'm going to put wild ones. I really like learning about Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos. Um, I can't remember how to say it. I'll have to work on that. Note to self, wild ones. One. I uh, my first one's gonna be a connection, and I'm gonna put a connection. I think we should have more celebrations because. They are fun. I'm going to say they are such a blast. And I could use some fun right now. I really could. So that's my first connection, that we should have more celebrations. Because their celebration looks so fun. I wish we could do it. Next, number two. I'm going to put a fact for this one. What do they call them? Oh. Wild ones are... What do they call them? Uh, part bear and part human. So they're part bear and part human, and the legend. says the bear is good luck because it shows winter is over. Next, I have a question. This is the one where it said, um, oh, how do they get, how do they get the lichen, which is the tree moss, L-I-C, H E N. How did they get the lichens or tree moss to stick to their oops T H E I their suits? And then um Four. Another question. How many people make these suits? They look hard. They look hard to make. No, really. Like, if you look at this, m imagine. Like, I, I mean, I think it's really cool, but you can buy costumes now. And you're like, we celebrate Halloween, and, or some people do. And um, look at that. You would have to, how would you have to get all that there? Do you sew it? 
I don't think hot glue would work because it's all wet. It's like moss. So you would have to sew all of that. That is a lot of work. I wonder if you can buy them on Amazon. But I actually want to do another fact because I don't want to write that. But I do wonder that. Um, I want to put down the part that... Oh, five. My other fact. They believe the wild ones chase the winter away. That's a, I mean, that's a good fact. I mean, I don't really know if they really truly believe it. That's what the story says. So I have my facts. I have capitals and end marks. Last time I missed one, so I'm just checking. Capital and end mark, capital and end mark, capital and end mark. And I think, yeah, I'm good. So I get two points for every one. So write your score down. So I'm putting my score down. So now I have plus 10. Woohoo! 100%, baby. All right, done.